Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at perimeter versus area versus volume. So I guess the easiest way to start thinking about it is if we start with something like a, a square. That's uh, a terrible square, but if I draw these lines on the sides it means all of the sides are meant to be the same length. So with perimeter and area, these are things which refer to two-dimensional shapes and volume is something that applies in the three dimensions. So I guess first we'll start by just looking at perimeter, then area, and we'll move on to volume. So this square here, imagine that the sides of the square are 2 meters in length. So it's a square, so all the sides have to be the same length. 2 meters, 2 meters, and 2 meters. So if we want to work out the perimeter, the perimeter is just the length of the outside of the shape. So for our square, it's going to be just the distance around the outside or the distance around what we call the perimeter. So to work that out, we want to work out the perimeter. It's going to be the distance around the outside of the shape. So it's a square. The first side is going to be 2 meters. The second side will be 2 meters. Third side will be 2 meters. And the last side will be 2 meters. So if we start here and go all the way around, going to have 2 meters times 4, we can just add them all together and get 8 meters. So the perimeter is we just start here, we walk all the way around the shape, get back to where we started, that's the perimeter for this square, it's going to be 8 meters. So the area looks at the space that the shape covers. So for this square, if we divide it into four equal parts, so the space inside of the square, we want to work out exactly how much space this square covers. So if this length is 2 meters and we divide it in half, then this length here will be 1 meter. If we divide this side in half, that length will be 1 meter. We can basically just keep doing this. So with area, we are concerned with the space that the shape covers. Um, so if this side length here is one meter and this side is one meter, this is going to form a small one by one meter square. There'll be uh, four of these. So one here, this is a one by one meter square. This is a one by one meter square. And this is a one by one meter square. So area is looking at the space that the shape covers. And we usually measure it in a, a squared unit, so meters squared. But if we want to work out the area, we can see that this 2 meter by 2 meters square covers 1 meter here, covers another meter here, another one here, and another one here. So it covers 4 meters squared. So the units here are the tricky thing. So when we go to work out the area of a shape, because it's covering a depth or a width and a length, it's going to have these squared units. So if we just think about it like this, the length of the side of the, sh the square is 2 meters. Uh, the length of this side is 2 meters. So if we multiply those two together, it's going to give us the area. So we have 2 meters this way and 2 meters this way. Um, so if we multiply them together, it will give us 2 times 2 is 4 and then the tricky bit is here. We have to multiply the meters together. So meters times meters is going to be meters squared. So the area of a shape, the space it covers, for this square it's four meters squared. So that's perimeter and area and they deal in two dimensions. So there's only a length and a height, but there's no depth. So what we're going to look at now is we're gonna look at some volumes. So if I just get rid of this here now, I'll leave the square on the left. So the square was for two dimensions. Now we're going to look, uh, the square on the left is in two dimensions and that was for perimeter and area. If we look now at a cube, we can kind of demonstrate what volume is. So I'm drawing a cube here. It's good, but it's, it's not perfect. So say we work with the same two meters. So it's got two meter sides. And because it's a cube, we know that all of the sides have to be the exact same length, because that's the definition of a cube. 
It's got six sides, all of the exact same length, and I use these little dashes to indicate that all of the sides are the same length. So when we're talking volume, we're talking about the amount that a shape can hold inside of it. So if we're thinking of a cube, the easiest way to think of it is if we were to fill the cube up with, say, water. So I'll draw the cube here. If we were to fill this cube up with, say, a liquid, and we were to just pour liquid into this cube here, it would be how much liquid is this cube actually able to hold. So if we just kept filling it and filling it and filling it until it reached the top, how much liquid could we, say, put into the cube? And this is going to be a three-dimensional measurement because it measures not only how high the cube is and how, I guess, wide the cube is, but it's also going to be a function of how deep the cube is. So volume is basically the area inside of a cube or the total space that the cube takes up or the shape takes up. Sorry. So easy way to think about it is if you just pour water into something, how much water is it going to hold? So when we're talking about volume, Volume, ha again, has its own units. So with our two-dimensional shapes, we had meters and then meters squared. So with volume, because we have this height, uh, this width, and this depth, if we want to work out the volume of a shape, the volume for a cube is going to be, say, 2 meters times 2 meters times 2 meters. This is just how we work out the volume of, of this cube then it's going to come out to be 2 meters times 2 meters times 2 meters is 8 and then meters times meters times meters 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 you get meters cubed so when we're talking about volume we deal in these units meters cubed so I'll write that down for everyone one more time so we have perimeter we deal in meters, it's the area, it's the length around the outside. We have area, which is the space that a shape takes up, and it has the units meters squared if we're dealing in meters, and volume has the units, say, meters cubed in this example. Um, and volume is the amount of space inside of a shape or the total amount of space that a shape takes up. So that's perimeter, area, and volume. And for more videos on uh, specific shapes, I'll put them out soon. Thanks, guys.